check this out. Out here this afternoon checking on this diverse species setup crop. Now this crop was created with the intention of stimulating soil function, improving soil porosity and so therefore infiltration, water holding capacity, pumping carbon, getting our soil functioning without fertilizer. So this crop was planted in December, it was planted into a existing pasture, direct drilled, that pasture was sensibly terminated with a very light rate of glyphosate, that glyphosate chelated with a carbon source and buffered with fish hydrolysate and also inoculated at the same time with some essential effective microorganisms. Now since then the crop has had nothing. So a little bit of trichoderma down with the seed. The seed selected and created by myself and Peter Barrett at Symbiosis Ag Limited. Now when we came out here to have a dig around with this client of mine before creating the mix we noticed that there weren't many worms around. The soil was lacking in colour and the smell was really neutral so there wasn't much going on out here. Now this crop, would you say this crop looks unhealthy? If you were out here would you think this crop needed any fertiliser? I certainly don't think so. There's some kale in this and when you look at that kale it's not often you see kale that's not being you know ravaged by insects at this time of year certainly not not crops that have not been treated with any sort of insecticide so out here we've got bursine clover well just to give you a taste actually that I'm gonna I'm not gonna name everything there's uh, we've got sunflowers there we've got lunch radish we've got yellow mustard we've got the vasilia we've got the buckwheat here we've got some bursine clover that buckwheat is a very very good phosphorus scavenger we've got sunflowers We've got vetch. Check this fatty out. Coming to say good day. Uh, we've got beans. All sorts of goodies. Now, I'm going to sacrifice this guy. Sorry, mate. And just give you a bit of a sense of. Check that out. Worms galore. And down here right now it's actually really cool like noticeably cool when you get down amongst these crops they're like a real buffer it's like a little microclimate down here it actually the air actually feels cool and moist wow that's profound it's a very very hot day out here today 35 odd degrees and actually down here it's cool that soil look at that these sunflowers are fantastic cultivators. They punch down, they punch across. Fantastic plants. They're not just there for looks, although I tell you what, these things are gorgeous when they do come out and flower, which these guys aren't far away from coming out to say hello. But man, this paddock, if you come out here, you know, when we drilled this, I think people were skeptical. And you know, right, they should be because it's not often we say, hey, let's put this in and just not put any fertilizer on. But when you can trust nature's cycle, trust her cycles, trust the process, introduce the diversity and get out of the way, is um, she's pretty capable. So this having created some microbial diversity in the soil, mobilized some minerals. We've got serious, serious improvements to soil physical function. So we're able to now infiltrate more water and hold more water. We're pumping carbon. We're fixing nitrogen. You want to see the nitrogen nodules on these beans. I'm sorry, Mr. Bean, you're coming out. I'm going to sacrifice a few roots on this guy. Sorry, worm. But look at this. Oh, we've just knocked him off. I might find another one just to demonstrate. Where's the beans at? Bean, 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 bean. 
it's like finding <laughs> it's actually really fun out here I noticed that um, kids seem to just love hanging out out here and rightly so I mean so do I to be fair but um, let's find a bean I'd love to demonstrate the uh, nodulating abilities of the beans it's funny when you've got so many different plants out here it uh, can be difficult I'm sure that possibly those viewing have spotted some there's one beans already let's have a look all right okay so can we see those nodules there look at them big pink nodules that is free nitrogen and look at them everywhere look at those suckers free nitrogen those beans are really impressive cultivators as well so they punch down their big deep main tap root but they also punch out across these these lateral tap roots I think they're just fantastic look at that taking nitrogen out of the atmosphere storing it in your soil worms <sighs> sometimes I just find myself a little bit taken back by what I find with these crops diversity is just so powerful it's like you know where we have um, you know quorums so groups of people what works is when you've got all different people coming together with a common goal which you know sadly isn't always the case but in nature when you bring this diversity together and it all works symbiotically for the common goal which for these guys is ecosystem function is it just staggers me to see what's what's possible I don't know like check this out look how much feed there is there it's hard to put a figure on this stuff but I'd say already we're sitting on at least six and a half ton could be seven when I'm walking across it listen to it crunch crunch you can see where people have come out walking so you can imagine when the animals come in and graze this they're going to be trampling a lot of this down creating a living mulch on the soil surface but also reducing in fact almost removing any compaction concerns because you're spreading the weight of the hoof across the soil surface and a lot of this will go back into feed the soil biology and then create an opportunity for other species to come up and have a crack but also in this particular instance we're going to be drilling in a perennial pasture mix so a diverse species perennial mix now that the soil is functioning we can rely on it taking and supporting a diverse species perennial pasture mix and that's this paddock setup cows will come in here graze this stimulating their gut as well getting them functioning like our soil using diversity creating that biological microbial diversity and increasing function so in the soil all those microbes they work together to solubilize and mineral uh, solubilize and provide minerals it's like a currency and so feeding on carbon produced by these plants and then exchanged for minerals in return for that for that carbon it's the same in the animals guts so our animals they get to have a diversified gut biome therefore increasing function reducing dry matter requirements creating resilience within the animal and I tell you what when you see when you see these animals come out into these paddocks it's like Christmas for them it's like a buffet they're just like wow I reckon they you know it's I always like to think that I can well, I certainly like to make up what what these animals say when they get into paddocks like this and have this this funny sort of uh, way of being it's like I think they communicate with each other like what on earth is going on what is all this stuff you know like it must be Christmas from having only ever really had clover and ryegrass It'd be like a kid in a lolly shop and no fertilizer isn't that just profound 
If this interests you, give me a call at Natural Performance 021 132 8992. And as far as seed uh, creation, diverse species seed creation and provision, you can contact myself or Peter Barrett at Symbiosis Ag Limited and we can get you on your way to a more profitable and resilient operation. All without synthetic fertilizers.